Welcome back, everybody, to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Yay, more padding. Don't you just love padding? You know, I was... It, this is eerily like Other M in that I was so excited to see this game. Because I wanted <laughs> to love it so much. But now it's like, I pretty much want to get it over with. I, I think... Uh, the, while that pattern may be the same, the reasons are different. Oh yeah. Whereas here this, uh, it's this here it's this game could have easily been five hours shorter. Yeah. And it would still be a good game in its own right. I don't know what pe people's insistence on game length is. I mean, granted, you're getting more game for your buck, but that kind of gameplay tends to end up being a lot more shallow. Kingdom but, Hearts too much? Yeah. Any Bethesda game that's longer than that that's longer than sixteen hours. Speaking of which, how's Dishonored? Yeah, I haven't I, I I've I haven't played it since like two days after I bought it. <laughs> so I accidentally deleted my save data. And it's so like I just didn't want to get through it. it again, so I'm just gonna wait for a month. I mean, it was fun. I loved it. It was very thief-like. But because the good ending is only based on uh, killing nobody, it's kind of difficult to get into the mentality of just playing it your way. Kind of, it's kind of a an, uh, an unintended railroad. Oh yeah, we were doing some uh, side quest shenanigans. What the fuck? This isn't like uh, Fallout where you can get like seven. Si no, Skyrim would be a better example where you can get like seven or so side quests going at once, just filling them out as you show up. I do that all the time, and I'm like, shit, I still have a hundred more quests to do. Mm hmm. Well, I'm, I'm kind of glad that they included this robot character more than I thought they were just going to do. I, I mean,. Even with just side quest stuff, it's it's kind of refreshing that they didn't abandon that character when he was done story-wise. I've noticed the Zelda franchise has gotten more and more side quests as the uh, as we've gone on. Because even like Ocarina of Time didn't have too many side quests. It had what the big Goron sword and. And the, that's and the about big, it. And the big pose. Yeah, the big pose. That was really it, aside then, from anything that's beyond bottles and heart pieces. Granted, this is talking about the standard Zelda games. I'm uh, I'm purposely leaving Majora's Mask out of that because Majora's Mask is like 85% side quest. I'm pretty sure it's 90-10. Yeah. Hmm. But uh. But that's just my experience. But, uh, like, with Twilight... Well, with Wind Waker, the side quests were filling out your map, uh, the Korok tree, the Korok trees, which was a pain in the ass because it was a timed mission that went, that took you all over the world. Oh, man. The Joy Pendants? Joy, yeah, but the Joy Pendants one was, like, you could, you could do that in, me, in the, like, the first hour. Um, and then the, uh, statues, which require oh, watch two this. playthroughs. It's a crystal ball! Drop! <laughs> <laughs> Didn't his last one break? Yeah. It's like, all right, here's your new crystal ball. Drop, it shatters. <laughs> it's like, oh, they just stay, They stand there for a minute before the robot says, oops, and that's the end of the side quest. That would have been amazing. <laughs> No, it's like, yeah, fuck, I broke it, and you have to go back down and get another one. This side quest never ends. <laughs> it just cycles through. Oh, it, and, then, and then it goes into a monologue of the futility of mankind trying to achieve perfection. It gets all existential and shit. <laughs> You're like, what? In insanity. Doing the same thing yeah. multiple times, expecting a different result. 
That's pre that pretty much sums up quantum theorists. But, uh... And then with Twilight Princess, you had the pose, you had the bugs, um, you had the Goron Springs, you had Malon Shop, or whatever the fuck his name is. You had the, uh... No, I already covered the pose, never mind. That's weird, there's only two spots we can land. Ah, another unusual phenomenon, similar to the uh, volcano erupting. Yep. Uh, it's a forest, so I want to say it's a storm. Kind of? That doesn't sound good. Maybe? Hey, Groose. No. Goody. I know, right? Oh my god. <sighs> this is, is going to become a regular thing, isn't it, isn't it Chris? Pretty much. <laughs> go. Just going to duct tape the fucking yeah. thing in next time. <laughs> and, it, and it somehow doesn't work. It somehow doesn't work for like five seconds. Yeah, they... Gets in, he tapes it down, then it immediately pops up. It's like, well, didn't know duct tape weakened the seal. <laughs> it's like, spray with WD-40. It's like, what? This is a bizarre world seal. It's all fucked up. That bit went, went a lot longer than it should have. Yeah. Kind of like this game. Yeah. So, you know, you're in good company. Uh, I, I think I made this year in good jo company joke with other M. Yeah. To be fair, I don't ship Link and Zelda nearly as much as this game. <laughs> I don't ship them at all. Oh boy, do I have a good scale for when I <laughs> do the good review for this game. Good the end of part scale. <laughs> as the giant scaly monster thing comes out. I think those are scales. Oh, yep, yep. Now it has a tail. What the fuck? It's slowly getting stronger, and mm -hmm. soon it's going to be fully realized. So, uh, eventually, it's like it's the Dragonite, bitch. <laughs> it's a goddamn Dragonite. It's not just any Dragonite, though. It's Lance's Dragonite, which is under leveled. It's like. Fuck. Lance has an underleveled Dragonite. Well, so does Iris and Drayden. It's a Haxorus. <laughs> I think in Black Man, and White 2... that shockwave two, goes really far now. What the fuck? I think in Black and White 2 they fixed that. Haxorus. Like having a level 9 Pidgeotto or something. You can do that in uh, Yellow and... Gold and silver and heart gold and soul silver and crystal. There's a fuck your technicalities, you nerd. <laughs> See, nerd. this is why you're never gonna get laid. Because I know so much about Pokemon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Would you like to see my Pokemon cards? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one foot down. Ow. Boom. You can't. Oh, fuck, I can't even get out of the way. <laughs> I'm trying to move up here. <laughs> yeah, you in a loop. Right, because the shockwaves go out way too fucking far, you're pretty much just gonna have to wait until the Grusinator is ready. Then hit him with a bomb, and then you'll be able to take his toes out. Hey. Yeah, shit. No, oh, well, I fucked up. It has a visible limp now. Yeah, it's because I fucking took out the toes on its right foot. What, what do you think would happen if you cut off all the toes on a foot? No. Oh. And I can actually jump on it. What the hell? That's a viable Fuck. strategy. Ow. Not really. 
Why, does the thing pop out, or is it just because it... Just because it throws you off and takes you too much time. But it's two strikes in. I think. Uh, unless you ma unless you manage to uh, fuck everything up. That somehow clipped him. So did the camera. <laughs> I don't like know, good Batman. camera design, what's that? Good camera design in my Sonic games? Oh wait, no, this is <laughs> Zelda. This is Zelda. The, the difference is... Well, I, I, I was gonna say this fan base is less forgiving, but I'm not sure if that statement is true. Considering it's this game... There we go. It is two strikes in. Tink. Right. Now we're gonna change it up. This boss fight was cool up until the. I was gonna say this is cool. This was cool up until the second time, but now it's getting tedious. This might. Oh. That changes things. <laughs> Just when you're about to complain, like, fine, here's a fucking wrench, you stupid bitch. So he needs those things. Oh, God. <laughs> ah, fuck. Leech just stayed at the bottom. That's going to leave a mark. <laughs> right. Oh. I'm like, oh, shit, where am I in respect to everything? It's a good thing it moved to the center in order to float up. Well, fucking get up there, Jesus. Ledges for the win. For the loss, I like. I'm actually liking the design for when it flies. With the fact that it's just like a, a black sun ring thing. Oh, fuck. Now Groose can't get to a supply of bombs. Right. We're going to have to do a little bit of a desperation tactic. Just keep in mind, in any of these fights, if the, uh, if the imprison reaches the temple, that's game over. Oh, yikes. This is, this is kind of an interesting uh, twist. Glad to see they didn't just do the same three fight three times. The same three fights three times. Yes, same fight three times. They've been being breaking a long time. Oh god, he's gonna catapult Link. Hells yeah! Oh dude, right, get the position. I think this is the first time you actually had to, you were actually doing the uh, move on the track. Dude, that's cool. Worked a lot better than it did in Wind Waker. So, yeah. My tip there is don't fucking miss, because if you do, you might as well just reset. Because yeah. you're not going to have enough time to get back up there. And then Link falls to his death. Well, at least... Well, that was a great game. Yeah. Well... <laughs> Uh, this has been Prometheus MFD. We'll uh, see you in. Uh, why, oh, why time. are we? Why are we still seeing this? But anyway, <laughs> something tells me that's going to be the final boss, or part of the final. Something boss. Something tells me you're right. Oh God. I mean, granted, they didn't exactly hide that aspect. <laughs> I just hope they uh, change things up. Uh, so he fell from that great height, unscathed. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Changing things up here. Yeah, they've been progressively getting more complicated. The first one needed, uh, needed three lines, I guess. The second one needed four. And this one needed six. 
As you can see, it's increasing the number of triangles it creates. Which means eventually it will form the Triforce. No, no, it will eventually form the Sierpinski Triangle, you fucking asshole. <laughs> no. Because I thought, well, that makes sense, but I thought, considering it's Zelda, and they love their motifs... And that would be one, two, three, four, five, that'd be six, but it'd be a bit more complicated. And then silence for the rest of the part. Stop saying that! I've only done that twice. <laughs> no, that, you've done it three times. Is that gonna be a running gag now? I say something, I make the same joke a couple times, and you're like, STOP SAYING THAT! <laughs> because is it because he literally knows nothing else. Oh man. Oh yeah, this giant time clock. Which is clearly totally not based on the portal to the dark world from Twilight Princess. What are you talking about? See, I have no frame of reference for that. It's like a huge ass mirror with a similar platform leading to it with stairs, except it's in the desert. On a prison. With mask guys! I should loan you Twilight Princess. I think I, I think I have it. Yeah, I have it with me. So, Faron Woods is flooded. Oh, really? <laughs> oh my god, Hurricane Sandy struck so, so, and so, what, what I'm basically saying is it's, uh, it kind of looks like the northeast coast right now. And yet, people still are gonna get Halo 4 and have gotten Assassin's Creed 3. <laughs> Seriously, even the two best friends are like, Alright, I don't care how much you're looking forward to it. Don't be stupid and go out and get it. Assassin's Creed 3. <laughs> the irony is, I live in Florida. We only got like three days of rain from the hurricane and that's it. The, so the irony is... You live in Florida and you weren't hit as hard. Nope. You know what? Fine with that. Right, we can't get to Faron Woods the normal way. Well, this is rather clever. Right. Aim this in the correct direction. We. I hope you did your fucking high school geometry right! No, he just dives. He doesn't even bother. <laughs> he doesn't even bother to do a cannonball. He knows that will hurt worse. Huh. That's actually rather neat to see it flooded like this. It is completely flooded, and we're gonna have to do something about that. Or some bullshit. Right. Next time, on uh, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we're gonna be doing some more padding bullshit. Skip to part 6-2!